Hey y'all, <coughs> it's Zabrina and I'm currently up this morning. I've been up since <coughs> two o'clock. And when I got up at two, I was just checking my clock and as I opened my cell phone, I swiped it, it was 2.22 in the morning. And that number <laughs> stood out to me add up all the digits and it adds up to the number six and the number six also represents in the bible humanity <clears throat> and i'm just you know going but actually before i went on to um social media i prayed i'm telling you god's honest truth like i prayed i prayed repented before god and just prayed, reconsecrating my life again, rededicating my life again, confessing my sins, because sleep was not easy for me. <laughs> but anyway, went onto social media, and I'm seeing video of the um, pastor, I believe his name is Carlton Pearson, who currently has pancreatic, pancreatic cancer and he's 70 years old. Um, he's lived a long life, <clears throat> longer than some folk. And I pray that God really show himself to this man because his teachings were false. You're preaching, and as I'm saying this, church bells are ringing. Um, his ministry was false. You cannot say that hell isn't real. It is as, it is as real as the pain that you feel when you burn yourself, when somebody pinches you, when you have labor pains, okay? <clears throat> Hell is as real as that, and it's a constant reminder. It's going to be very painful. And people, we better wake up. Every time that your feet hit the floor, you better give God thanks because he's giving you another opportunity to repent of your sins. And <clears throat> seeing what's going on in the world and what's taking place, it's serious, people. And we really need to get it together and get it right. I'm waking up at 2, 22 in the morning, can't sleep, so I prayed, because sometimes, <clears throat> you know, you have things in your heart and in your spirit that you are personally dealing with, you know, so that's my way, you know, if God is getting me up at that time, I'm going to get up and I'm going to pray. And I was reminded yesterday to rest in God. Sometimes we are constantly analyzing and trying to figure things out in our minds and trying to do things on our own strength. And the only thing that God wants us to do is truly rely, surrender all in him, to him, and to rest in him. I just wanted to share this and I'm going to make a promise to God to give me strength when I wake up in the middle of the night to get on my knees and pray because that's what I did. Sometimes we get up and we go, we go on our phones and we scroll. No, we need to pray and read our word and I'm about to read the word of God next. I'm going to read Psalms 23. <clears throat> first verse is, the first verse is, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
meaning I shall not lack of anything. The Lord is our shepherd, meaning that he is <clears throat> our provider. Oh, Lord, I tell you. Anyway. Oh, another thing with the Matthew Perry situation. He had passed away this week saying that his prayer to God was to become famous. <clears throat> I questioned that prayer and to whom it was that he was praying to. He could have been praying to God in his mind. But when you're given fame, it says, what does it profit a, a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? I don't know. Oh, Lord. Anyway. Um, just a closer walk with thee, dear God. Just a closer walk with thee. I don't want to show myself because it's like 5 o'clock in the morning and I'm about, I'm about to go right back to sleep for, for a little bit, but I have to wake up in a couple of hours, but I'm about to read my word before I go to sleep. And my desire at this point in my life is to draw closer to God. I see where changes, you know, are being made in this world. But God remains the same. And his word remains the same. We cannot try to change the word to fit our personal needs. <clears throat> For those of us who are children of God, let's remember to pray and to seek after God's face. And those of us who have families, <clears throat> a family that prays together stays together. Family that prays together stays together. Family that prays together stays together. Because if you give any openings to the adversary, he's going to take full He's gonna come in and just take take authority some way, somehow. <sighs> mm. And you have, I guess I don't understand, but anyways, there's gonna be a great falling away. It's like, <clears throat> And this is what I think is going on, is that you have pastors that, <laughs> you know, I don't know how this is going to sound. It's probably going to sound, it's not silly, but it's the truth. You have pastors that are preaching on the pulpit and their wives are going to concerts, especially Beyonce concerts, secular music concerts. And then... Wonder why your home is a muck. Anyway. People pray and seek God's face because it's it's imperative at this time that we do. Because <sighs> as life continues and as the world turns, we are going to experience more things that will challenge our faith challenge our morals mm -hmm. we have to be mindful so you all have a blessed week i'm fine i'm home <laughs> in my humble abode i will be very prayerful this week because the enemy was trying me on my job Last week, he was trying me. But through the help of the Holy Spirit, <laughs> Jesus is going to put the enemy in his place. For the Lord says, vengeance is mine. <laughs> and 
and be mindful how you treat a child of God. Make sure that you P-R-A-Y for a child of God and not P-R-E-Y because God sees it all. You all stay blessed, be blessed. Shalom.